another horn, and another missing piece. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker, before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if, and only if, the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special choco chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in Mummy's boy. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. When... You see this one, little brother one? Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, he gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. I'm Graham. Graham Cro No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. I'll leave you be. Go away! Shrekky. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Wanna partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test.
unearthed the treasure that was within. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name... What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg! What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... <laughs> who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Here he comes. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Monster unveiled itself. It, yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third, hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny, because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> You got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it! Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny! We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. 
Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum tum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Whisper! Mm. Ooh. Whisper can do it! Mm -mm 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 -mm. 